Welcome to another case unboxing video by Ray Screws. We have a worldwide international case for F, the F case assortment. Let's go ahead and get to it. Yes, this will be another video. This is the video that you're supposed to be watching. If you want a chance at a shout out, you're going to watch the video. Suggest a model or two that you'd like to see for track time, and you'll have a chance at a shout out. When I do track time, I pick the cars for track time. Hey, look, only 48 cars in this case. Uh, I pick the cars for track time. Then I come back to the comments and look for someone to give a shout out. Uh, I used to keep the list of the cars in the description. I know that some of you guys were not watching the video and just going to the description and picking a couple cars. I know you're doing that. Uh, that's all right. I just let it go. But you know what? YouTube, they uh, pulled one of my videos. And I think it's because I was putting the list in the description. So I can't do that anymore. Now you guys are going to have to watch or at least scan through the video. Here we have Speed Slayer. Very nice. Very nice. Clear body. I like that. Here we have the uh, Mountain Mauler. And this is the treasure hunt for the case. It's a little hard to see, but right there there's a Circle Flame logo in uh, silver. I don't know if you can see it better here. No, oh, you can barely see it right there. Anyways, hmm, this guy's pretty fast on the downhill. He sure has a lot of releases uh, over the years. He seems to get more releases than other models. Here we have the Cougar, I mean the 67 Chevelle SS396. Um, special commemorative piece for Leap Year. Now, some people might say this is a chase piece. Um, I have not heard any in official information that this being a chase piece. Look how it has a different card than usual. It has a calendar on there for leap year. That's because uh, this year we're going to have February 29th. Nice looking card, but uh, I don't know if it's a chase or not. I would buy it just because of the, it's kind of a nice card to have in the collection to commemorate leap year. Here we have Bulletproof. It's another car that has a modified body. It used to be different. It used to be co-molded to where it has two. It had two types of plastics being molded together, but it is no longer. Another Speed Slayer and Gazella GT. Someone told me about this car. Uh, you guys told me about Gazella GT having the modified lip to where you can adjust the spoiler right here. Not the spoiler. Uh, when it has the flat part, I looked it up this time. When it has a flat part, it's not a spoiler. It is a splitter when it's specifically a flat piece on the bottom there. This this looks really, really nice. Here we have the 13 Chevrolet Copo Camaro. The winning formula. The BMW M4. I'm just kidding. Wow, this looks really good. Oh, I got a little scratch in the paint there. But otherwise, mm -mm, looks good. Little Halloween model. And if you want to glance at the top of winning formula, you got some of the decos on top and the BMW, nothing in particular. You do have headlights and taillight tempos though. This guy's a track star, LOL. Remember, remember I did him in the video, a track time video a long time ago? Dragon Blaster, yeah, he flew through the boosters. I was not expecting that. 13 Ford Mustang GT. I think this one's a track. This, I'm pretty sure this is a booster car as well. It was hard for me to talk looking at the decos. I had to look at the body. Yeah, this is a one. That's pretty nice having the uh, racing flag coming up over the back there. Here you have Loop Goop. It's got some wild, wild tempos all over the place on that one. Porsche 993 GT2. Got a racing stripe going down. Porsche on the wing back here. Porsche, 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 Porsche. Oh, we got some rubbing in the blister. You can see the that's not on the car. That's rubbing on the blister there. And high roller. He's gotten a few colors right away as well. Snowstormer and orange. This model is going to be a super treasure if you find one with a uh, special color. It's not going to be light blue like this. It'll be a bluish. But the definite si significant uh, difference is the rubber tires for Bad Mudder 2. This one is just a regular basic car. But if you find one with rubber tires, 
That's the uh, Super Treasure Hunt. Lamborghini Urus in orange. Looks pretty good. Got headlight temples. You have Urus for a license plate. It looks like they did try to give us some light temples. It's a little hard to tell. Raptor. People are liking the Raptor for trucks. Looking pretty good. A little discussion between the uh, Matchbox and the Hot Wheels version. I like them both. I'll buy them both. You just see one in my videos more than the other. That's all. BMW M4, another one. Here you have a brand new Martin. Uh, Martin. A brand new model. Check it out. Well, let's get rid of a T Gray real quick. T Gray Super Chromes. Nice and shiny. I love collecting chrome cars, and I'm sure many of you do as well. Here we have the Aston Martin DeBio. Very nice. Wow. This was in the movie. Uh, Spectre says right there on 007. Yeah, awesome car. The movie, the movie was all right. I had fun. I enjoyed it. I hear you guys. That's not the BO. That's DB10. Are you guys having a heart attack? That guy doesn't know cars, man. Why does he collect toy cars? He don't know cars. Yeah, very nice. I'll be looking for extras for this one. I'm sure many of you will as well. I thought that, <laughs> I thought that was something else. Custom 01 Acura. Integra GSR. Yeah, nice, simple. Just got realistic colors on there. Tail light temples, Hot Wheels license plate. In the front, you got your lights. That's a nice looking model right there. I'll be looking for extras of that one as, as well. Porsche 993 GT2. That one, I think I already showed you that one. I remember the uh, Porsche on the uh, tail fin on the spoiler back there. So plowed in light blue. You know what, this car has a, a pure, I never noticed that. It has a, uh, has a spiral in the black, in the back, like an auger. Wow, that's, hmm, that's pretty interesting. Uh, you guys who are over there in the snow areas, would um, you have vehicles that pick up the snow and then um, kind of have it go through this to get thrown out to the side of the road? That's very interesting. I never even noticed that it has a like an auger type uh, a rotary thing in the back. Fig rig. I almost said so plowed again. I don't know why. Nice. Just <laughs> got some nice decos on there. It was a little wild with the uh, checkered uh, Lego type design before. Get the Spirit 76 decos on the 69 Ford Torino Talladega. I don't know if that's uh look how it's white it's white on top but on the sides it looks like it's dirty it's got some type of yellow yellowish like it's been in the sun for a while or something we'll look at that in a second another Porsche 934 Turbo RSR you'd have a look at that now look uh look it's white it's white on the top I'll get real close for you so you can see can you see that uh off white yellowish kind of band coming Coming through here, I don't know what that is. Well, uh, I usually wait until I do my track time, but I want to know if it's on the other side. Yeah, it looks like it's on the other side too. So, let me give my camera a chance to focus. I like seeing the Union 76 logo on there. But look on the other side as well. Hmm, I don't know why they would do that. Seems intentional, or maybe it's a production issue they don't know about. Don't know. Oh, here's a nice trio. 70 Ford Escort RS 1600 or 1300? 1600. Yeah, looking good. Like those colors. He's a great booster car too, surprisingly. Works good in the boosters, loops, and curves, and downhill racing. He's actually pretty good. We have the 96 Nissan 180SX Type X. Wow, looks like a totally different car with those graphics. It really, it really looks like a totally different car. <laughs> I would not have been able to guess it. It's on the car. That's the only reason I knew. Kind of looked like an AE86 Corolla to me, real quick. And there's another sample of the Escort RS1600. Another Fig Rig. Another Dragon Blaster. And here's another one. I'll make a video. Uh, someone made a comment that this one is also another one that has the adjustable um, bumper. It might not necessarily be a splitter on every car, so that's why I have to think about what should I call it. I have to look at it. Now, I would call this a splitter because it has a flat bar going across, but that's adjustable too. And guess what? 
is adjustable in the back too. Custom 69 Volkswagen Squareback. There you go. It's got the W logo. It's part, like I said before, it's part of the art cars. There's going to be uh, 10 cars with letters on top. It's going to spell something. I should have been looking at the other models to see if something was an art car in this batch. If there is, I'll show you at the end. Um, people have been saying that uh, people must not like the Toyota Supra anymore. They're finding them on the pegs. Well, it's been in a lot of cases, and it's like, how many how many Supers do you expect us to buy? After all, people are like, uh, I know it's a good car, but I had enough. Especially the people who resell them, you know. Once, once the market's flooded, uh, they're stuck with them. Well, they're not stuck. Next thing you know, they show up back at the store, and you know what I'm talking about. Tesla Model S in blue. That's a new color for that model right there. Chevy C10. 67 Chevy C10. Beautiful color. And here's the uh, wild version of the Corvette. You have the Greenwood Corvette 76. Yep, 76 Greenwood Corvette. Looking good. Looking great as a model. Not so much uh, for a track car, but looking good as a toy car model. It's got those Bugs Bunny teeth headlights. Uh -huh. Let's see what else we got. Hey, McLaren. I think that was in the last case, actually. I'd like to see it uh, in the cases again. I was looking to see if they, I was looking to see if it had an adjustable uh, splitter. Here's the 90 Acura NSX and another Greenwood Corvette. Custom 72 Chevy Love. So far, we just had that basic treasure hunt. I don't think we're going to get a Super now that we got this far. That's a nice color. That's a pretty nice color for the Dodge Challenger. It's kind of a plum color. Of course, my daughter probably going to yell at me. That's not plum, Dad. I don't know. It looks good. And here's a baby blue Honda Racer. Hmm, I'm trying to think what color she's going to tell me that's going to be. Tesla Model S. I'll have to remember to take that one home to ask her. There's another art car right there. It has the letter H on the roof of the Mini Cooper or the Morris Minis. Those are rainbow wheels. Supposed to be uh, wildly colored like that. So you'll wind up with a lot of colors on them. A lot of variations, versions. Yeah, another Super Chrome. There you have two-timer. There's the uh, 180SX again. Another C10. And there is the DB10 again. License plate. Oh, you got a logo right there in the front, as well as headlight tampos. Very nice, very sleek looking model. These are the worldwide cards. They usually don't say anything on the back. I'll give you a peek. Here's another winning formula. Here's a new model. And we'll take a look. There it is again. There's that yellowish. Hmm. I wonder what's up with that. But here's a grass chomper. Look, it's for your uh, figures. There you go. There's a mini fig that you could put on it. I wonder when Mattel's going to come. They, they're coming out with all these cars. I'm wondering when are they going to release uh, their own toy cars. I wouldn't be surprised if we see, you know, the motorcycles with riders line where you got the motorcycle and it's got a dude on it. I would not be surprised if we had a uh, ride on type two pack with the uh, with the vehicle and with new Hot Wheels mini figures. Would not be surprised. I'm sure. They're not going to leave money on the table. They'll make anything that uh, they can sell. That's for sure. Hey, I would too. That's why I'm in business, right? Power Surge. Ah, very, ooh, look at this. It has a dark metallic green. Can you see the uh, the metal flake in the paint? Might be there. There you could probably see better. The metal flake paint. When you see this in person, make sure you look at it in lots of light and you get to appreciate the color. There's another grass chomper. Custom 01 Accurate Integra GSR, another one, tail light tampos, it has a shaded windows, which you can see in there, at least they're realistic, at least they're not colored, you know, 
there's a headlight and by the way mm, yeah, I don't know if you'll fit on the track with these wheels I think you will it looks narrow enough yep I look forward to using him for track time maybe not this uh, coming video maybe not the video for this case but heck I might do one in the future I got lots of time to make lots of videos there's another voltage bike love this guy fact drafter I think that green's a new color didn't the, there's another model that's a lot like shaped like this mm, bulldozer or something I think that one got a green color too uh, I know it's kind of a fantasy casting I just I like that car it's big and bulky here's another one getting down to the end 12 cars left oh see that was that's the one that we're trying to look for with rubber tires bad mudder 2 gazella gt and another volkswagen square back chevy blazer welcome back this is the second color i believe after his return i say he like it's got uh, some type of a pronoun but paradox new casting change talked about that last time there's another raptor Porsche this one's already in the case the Porsche 934 turbo turbo RSR another bulletproof and there you have the Aston Martin Vantage GT3 uh, I'm sure a lot of people are are can't wait for Mattel to change the lip on this Mm, splitter it's too high uh, I'm sure we'll see a new one in the future where you can adjust this like the other some of the other models and nothing interesting in the bottom this one I'm talking about that has the adjustable you can you can adjust that lip I showed it in another video so I'm sure you already seen it because you guys watch right off duty in orange and street stealth well now the treasure hunt was that mountain mauler but uh, i would suspect that that is not that is not the one that people are going to be looking for out of the case well I have to find it yeah if you find this it's treasure hunt if you find extras try to get other people into the hobby and hey give them a treasure hunt right it's uh, just a basic treasure hunt i'm sure people are going to be looking for this people are going to be looking for this and yeah the other stuff oh yeah that uh, debile what a beautiful car happy collecting good luck hunting bye bye